Kinawataka wetland stretches from Tinda Minister's Village, Chambogo, Kasokoso, Banda Kireka, and Ruzira. It covers 11.9 square kilometers, draining east waters into Lake Victoria. However, part of this wetland has been encroached on, with only 7.7 .7 square kilometers remaining. According to the Minister of Lands, individuals and companies illegally obtain over 300 land titles in the wetland. We conducted an exercise to verify this, and we noticed, we came up with the finding that indeed there were some titles which were in this area. We started with a few of them out of over 300 plus titles. The titles under question were issued after the 1995 constitution was adopted. Today, officials of the Ministries of Lands and Water and Environment held a meeting with some of the title owners. There are those which are in the middle where people have powered marrow. I've never powered not even a single track of marrow on my property. After investing, people have constructed and you tell us, please, we are cancelling. So to me, I think it's not fair for the complainant to be the judge in his own case. How do we define a wetland? We define a wetland based on some parameters. We define it by water, by vegetation, by soil, by its geographical location. If your title is falling on the wrong side of the law, it's going to be cancelled. Okay? As to whether they are going to be evicted or removed, that's not for Minister of Lands. Some of the titles in Ikinawataka wetland belong to Mera Investments, owned by businessman Sudiru Pereria. However, the businessman, through his lawyers, have sued the government seeking to stop the ministry from cancelling the titles. We have since obtained court orders in respect of uh, the titles of Mera Investments Limited, Mohamud Barwani, Aisha Murunji and others. The ministry officials said the wetland was demarcated in the 1950s but people have illegally acquired titles, even in the lake. They have warned that they will not provide any compensation to whoever obtained a title in a wetland. And we are saying that actually the whole process that led to titling was irregular. It's that irregularity which we are addressing. And nobody can benefit from a wrong. Well, the recent flooding in and around the city has been attributed to wetland degradation. Present Yoweri Museveni, has on several occasions insisted that all encroachers on wetlands must vacate. A survey conducted by the National Environment Management Authority, NEMA, in 1994 indicated that the wetland cover in Uganda stood at 16%, and by 2016, the wetlands had dwindled to 9%. It is projected that if nothing is done to protect the wetlands, Uganda will not have any by 2040. We intend to do it across the country, after this, we have an exercise which is running for Chigezi, Busoga, and Bukedea. Bukede. But we had to start with this one for Kampala before we go. We have requested the Attorney General to guide us on what is going to happen to title holders who acquired their titles before 1995. So the National Water and Sewerage Corporation spent 13 billion shillings annually to treat water. Research by the Minister of Water and Environment shows that it will require 3.7 billion shillings to restore one hectare of a wetland. Jingo Francis, NTV.